The 18 treadins used with the beef pack fence kit are exactly the same as for the dairy, dairy pack system, but I'll just quickly put one together for you to remind you of how, how it goes. <coughs> Thread the pedal on, align the thick end of the wedge with the red mark, press the pedal down, tap it home. Wedge through the body, thread both pieces on, applying pressure with finger and thumb to keep them in the neutral position, and aligning the clip to the opposite side of the pedal. Right, let's go and have a look at the end assemblies. <coughs> the end assembly tread in kit provides comes with two release hooks which can be used <coughs> to attach the either end of the temporary fence directly to a permanent fence. In that case you can use the end assembly parts to construct a braced or simply by the virtue of their long, pe uh, long pin pedals more secure corner assemblies. As we saw before the end assembly is made up of a stay post and the more upright one being the anchor post. The end assembly uses special pedals with long pins. The pedal on the anchor post is set so that there is nearly as much fiberglass in the ground as steel pin. This is in order so that it gets a lot of grip in the soil and doesn't jack out under tension. The anchor, the anchor treadin has a single wedge clip, again with the fat end of the wedge at the bottom, and the clip lugs are on the opposite side of the shaft of the pedal. This means that the stay, the clip on the stay post pushes up on the wedge. The release hook is mounted with a single wedge clip. To detach it, we just tap carefully on the release hook. To mount the release hook on the shaft, We pop the release hook on with all its features uppermost and drive the wedge in. In this case, the release hook is pointing in the same direction as the pedal. The stay is exactly as we saw for the pulley end assembly in the, in the dairy pack section, with the pedal right at the end to effectively make it as long as possible. Pedal at six o'clock clip at four o'clock. It's a good idea not to have that pedal too tight as it does help if we can twist it a little. Right, let's go and load up our rack. Pick up your rack and notice how you cradle it on your left forearm. We're going to load the treadins into the rack starting with one of the end assemblies and the first of those is the anchor post. Slot it in to the front slot, and notice that this is what we call the front of the rack. Have it hanging down to keep the release hook out of the way, and bring the pedal up hard against the left hand upright. We follow the anchor tread in with the stay, and notice how I stagger these pedals so that we can get as many tread into the rack as possible. From then on, I follow the same sequence, loading my ordinary tread -ins. Also note that I'll try and load reasonably evenly between the front and the back slots. This keeps the um, even pressure on the uprights. Once again, staggering the pedals as we go. I won't load all these, but you get the idea. We'll finish off with the last end assembly. In this case, we'll put the stay in first. followed by the anchor tread in that keeps the release hook out of the way once again and we can lock the rack like so. All we need to do before we can go and put up a fence is now attach the spool. Before doing that I'm going to lock the crank in about the 10 o'clock position and to do that I'll swing the locking, 
lock it over, press on both until they snap into position. I'll unwind the nut on the chuck until it gets to stop, making sure that I don't force it past the stop. Take the spool and with the poly wire at the top and heading in the direction of the guide, I'll snap the spool on. To get it ready to put up a fence, I'll adjust that nut until there's just a little bit of frictional braking on the spool. Right, we're ready to roll.